uh, despite what we have seen in the streets and despite what we uh, expect as a negative impact on the economy, I feel that the banking system will be able to stand uh, all this pressure. Uh, we have done a lot in the last few years and I'm uh, very confident about the governor and the management there to be able to sail through this crisis. Yeah. President Mubarak would like to stay on, as you know, through the end of August or September and have a controlled transition. Should he give up that goal and, or does he have to stay in office for this to work in your view? Well, personally, I believe our best chance for this transition is for the president to stay because the alternative is, uh, is chaos and jumping into the unknown. The president have made it very clear uh, four days ago in his speech that he will manage the transition with an open mind uh, towards uh, political reform. I think uh, since the speech in the last four days, we have seen many, many steps that have been taken, including the removal of many of the old uh, figures and many of the old faces. And uh, the, these have given a lot of uh, comfort that there is some significant change. We have a new leadership in the government. We have new leadership in the party. We have now a, a, a committee that is included, including all the opposition. We have the prime minister, the VP, actively now involved in uh, negotiation for the political reform. I believe that our best chance to get a smooth transition is to, uh, to have President Mubarak continue his term and delivering what he promised us all uh, in terms of the preparation for the election. What if the opposition parties, including the Muslim Brotherhood, hold that as a condition that before the negotiations can move to the next stage, that he should go? Would you still hold that position? Well, I think this is very unrealistic, John, because they have to give us what's the alternative. If the alternative is chaos or, uh, or because what the Constitution says, the, constitu the Constitution says that if the president steps down, the uh, head of the parliament takes over, for a period of 60 days where a new election should be in place for a, a president. I don't think this is realistic at all to assume that this is going to be able to deliver the changes on the political scene and allow more activity to be involved. What's realistic if it takes five or six months to have a controlled transi transition? What happens to growth in your view? Well, we, we, we have to be realistic. Growth will, uh, will definitely be below what we expected. I think uh, we need to understand that for the economy to continue to, to uh, work and to uh, deliver growth, there are some conditions. One is the uh, establishment of law and order and the security of, uh, in the street. Second one is that for the new government and the new uh, team to show strongly that there is a business-friendly uh, environment and not an antagonizing and attacking uh, environment for business uh, community. Third, uh, people should be convinced that there will be a smooth transition. And fourth, and most important, that they could also see that the end game is going to be resulting into a strong, stable, democratic Egypt. Uh, as you know, Egypt has a huge potential. I believe that uh, our economy, our country will have a great future. It is only the challenge of how we can manage the next six to seven months now. Final question here. The president rushed to sack the previous cabinet. Five of those members were known as very business friendly that brought in nearly $50 billion of FDI. You were one that had to go. Was that a mistake by the president? Well, uh, at, at the end of the day, the, the political situation in the country required the new team to be in place. I believe that uh, the existing government uh, has a lot of capability to deliver, but as I said, it will need to show uh, the business-friendly uh, environment that people will be looking for. Well, I, like all my colleagues, will never let Egypt down. This is my country. I've done a lot for it in the last six and a half years, and I'm sure uh, that I will continue to do, not necessarily from the position of minister. Once again, Rashid Mohammed Rashid joining us from Dubai. By the way, he's still waiting for a final answer on his uh, frozen assets. Well, another factor putting pressure on the Egyptian economy is its falling currency. The Egyptian pound fell to a six-year low at one point today. One U.S. dollar currently buys around five Egyptian pounds, 0.95. As for the Egyptian stock exchange, that will now 